everybody. Welcome back to HMA Gallery. Today we're going to be diving into the wonderful world of medieval times with kings and queens and castles and dragons. Well, maybe not fully, but it's fun to pretend sometimes. And today we're going to use our imaginations and we are going to be drawing our very own fierce dragon head. So come along and draw with me and let's have some fun together. So for today, since we are going to be working on our dragon, we want to make sure that our paper is portrait style. That means the long and skinny way. This is portrait. This is landscape when you turn it sideways where it's, it's longer than it is tall. But for today, we are gonna be doing a dragon's head. So we want it to be portrait so that we can proportion our paper correctly. So to start out with, we're going to figure out where we wanna have the head. You want the head to be in the upper portion of the paper, but we need to leave room for the horns. So my dragon today is gonna to be a little bit smaller because I wanna make sure the entire thing fits on my paper. So I'm gonna lightly sketch a circle somewhere in the middle portion of my paper, maybe just off to the right a hair. Then I'm gonna have a piece coming down here and then a piece coming up underneath, kind of like a U shape coming off of this circle and up and then back down. And then we will worry about this a little later. We're just sketching out the, where everything is going to be so we can get the proportions in the outline correct before we start adding in all of our fine detail. Because if you don't have your proportions right and you start adding in detail, it's gonna be all for nothing. And then you're gonna be really disappointed if you have a super detailed dragon that doesn't really look right. So next, we're gonna have his neck. So the neck is gonna start here. It's gonna curve over and around, off to the right, and end up here. Also gonna have the neck curving over and down. Coming off of our circle here, coming out of the bottom of our circle here. So this is about what we have right now. It almost looks like you're starting a horse head. And if it kind of looks like that to you, then you're, you're on the right track. So next, we're going to add in where our ears are going to go. We're gonna have ears coming up out of the left side of our circle. And that comes up to a point, curves back down. And then we're gonna have an ear coming up in the back, but we can't see that one right now. So what I wanna start working on is the face. So I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here. So for the face, we have a couple of things going on. He has his head curved and he's looking off in that direction. So you need to think about that while you're drawing out the face. So now down here where the nose is, we're gonna have a nostril coming up and down. So kind of a little hump, two little humps and curving back down. And it's gonna curl off downward where he has kind of a pointy lip. And it's gonna come over and around, back down. So we have it come down, up, curve down and around and back over. So this is his mouth. What we're forming here is his mouth. This is the top of his mouth, his nose, his nostril there. Okay, now we need to do the bottom of his mouth. So the bottom of the mouth is gonna start right about here, about even with the nostril. I'm gonna take, have a piece coming down, over, up a little bit, around, And then we're gonna have a piece connect back up to where the jaw is. So we have our straight line here. This curves almost like a really, really loose W. It's not gonna come way up and touch the lip, but it's just gonna be a nice loose W that connects to the front of the mouth and connects to the back of the jaw. 
And then down here, we have our jaw. It's going to curve down like so. Remember, sketch lightly. That way, if you make a mistake, it's a lot easier to fix it. So now that we don't need this anymore, I'm going to erase out this line just under the mouth, just like that. Okay. Now we're going to do our nose. So we have this nostril that's on the opposite side of the face that we're not going to see. And now this one we are going to see. So right here, about here is where we are going to put, I'm going to draw lightly a little cross and that's where I'm going to put my nostril. So the nostril is going to curve up and around like this. And then right here, we're going to have a line. And then down here, we're going to bring it down like so. And then we're going to lightly color that in. And that's going to be his nostril. I'm going to have another line underneath it, kind of following it. And erase out the top of our cross where we were making our marks for everything. Down here, we're going to add another little line, like that, okay? All right, so now we're getting in to some of this detail, all right? Now, right up here is where the head is going to be. So over here on this side of the head, we're going to kind of add a line because this is going to be important. This is where we are going to have the ridge of the top of the eye. Let me scoot my paper down a little so you can see what I'm doing. This is gonna be where the ridge to the top of the eye is on the other side of the head. This is the right side of his face and this is the left side. We're not gonna see fully the left side. So right here, we're gonna have this as it comes up and connects to that circle that we drew for the top of the head. We're going to have a, a bump. A little bit of a bump and that's where his eye is going to be on the back side of his head and then this is going to come around like that erase out this line that we don't need anymore and then right here is where we are going to start the ridge the ridge of his eyebrow area and kind of where um all of his, his uh, ripples on the top of his head meet on the top of his head. So we're gonna have some here. We're just gonna lightly draw in some arches here. We're gonna have one come down, and then another arch come up over here. One curve down here. All right, and just to add placement, we're gonna go ahead and add our eyeball. So I want my eyeball to be right about here. So I'm going to draw a nice little arched eye. It's going to come down to a point, curve back up and connect like so. Maybe I want to make it a little more rounded at the bottom. All right, so there is our dragon's eyeball. Down here, we want everything to kind of come to a point. And then this piece, he's a little bit angry because he's a fierce dragon. So we're going to have this piece coming down like this. And then he is going to have some more scaly arches coming up over his eyes. Kind of like this. Okay. And then over here. We're going to have some more coming over here. So we're going to envision a line going right here, and this is where we're going to connect a lot of these scales on the top of his head. They're kind of like ridges on the top of his head. Like this. Okay. And then I'm going to scoot it up so you can see the whole thing. I'm going to back out a little bit now. All right, so this is about where we are at. This is a good start for our dragon. And then we're gonna have some highlights coming down here underneath the eye. And we're gonna have another piece coming up 
and connecting to those ridges there. And then down here, kind of darken this line, some of these lines. And then here following the eye, we're going to have some shading coming down and around. All right, just like so. All right, now we're gonna come back over to our ear. So for our ear, we want it to come up off of this nice um, firm jawline. So we drew the jawline here, and then we have another piece for where the ear is gonna go, right here. And this is where this is gonna come down, and then come back up. It's got a nice big ear, okay? And then we're gonna draw the piece inside the ear, which is gonna come up and over. And then down here, we have a little piece that curves down because it comes into this nook that we drew. And it's gonna come back and disappear up into that first line that we drew. And then we're gonna darkly highlight that. All right. I'm gonna put some lines in here, some ridges, okay? Then right here, he's got a hump on the top of his head because he has a horn that's gonna form, two horns. So one here, so we have a ridge right here to the right of the ear, and then over here is gonna be another ridge. So this horn is gonna come up, over, and it's gonna curve behind our ear, just like so. This one's gonna come up and over, curve behind the ear, and connect. So we want this to be fatter at the bottom, skinnier at the top. All right, so I'm gonna erase that out since I don't need that. Okay. So this is what we have so far. And then if you wanna add in some little lines to give it shading, since we're doing our sketch here, you may do that as well. All right, now we need our other horn, which is going to come up over here. So we're going to go ahead and make some arches for where our horn is going to grow out of our dragon's head. And then this one is going to come up and over and curve up a little and curve back down. Just like this. All right. And then once again, I like to do hatching on some of my shading. That's one technique you can use. So we can do some hatching up there like that. All right. And then we're going to have his ear, which is in the back. You can't really see it because it's behind his head. So for here, the ear is gonna be back here. All right. And we're just gonna imagine that going down behind the horn. Now here he's gonna have some crazy hair. So you can do your dragon's hair however you want. Mine's gonna have some crazy tufts coming up and off of his head, like so. It's growing down behind that horn on the left side. So there's some of his hair. Okay, so now we're getting back to his neck. So right down here, we have where the neck kind of curves out of the bottom of his jaw. And then we have a piece that comes right here out of the other side of his jaw. I'm gonna come down like this. This is gonna be the front half of his scaly neck. So here we have to have this come over like so. So right in here is where we're gonna add the scales, all through this section here. So we're gonna have scales that kind of come up as loops. And you can do your scales however you want. They don't have to match mine. But we're just doing big U's. You wanna kind of alternate them. You don't want them all to uh, be too uniform side by side. We're not making a checkerboard. We're making a scaly neck here. 
you just go all the way down his neck like so all right so i think i'm good with that so now we're going to come over and we're going to carefully outline this side again so we almost have a mirrored outline on the side of the neck here and over here and then up here he's got a much bigger piece instead of this line that was coming out since we were just guessing at first as to where we wanted to put everything to get a nice general scope for where I was gonna place it on my paper, it's actually gonna come out right here where this loop to the ear loops back down. This is where the big tuft of his neck is gonna come out and curve back down, okay? He's got a nice fat neck. He's got some pieces coming out here. All right. So almost done. Okay. And then we're going to add some nice ridges on the back of his head. He's got a nice big mane almost coming off of the back of his head. So I'm going to start here by the ear and I'm going to envision it being behind his head. So it would almost come out like this to nice points. And then we're gonna have another nice point here. Oops, I don't like that one. That one was too skinny. And then another nice point here. Point here. And they're starting to go down. Like they're almost laying down on his back. Now to connect those, it's almost gonna be like a web. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna do loops inward to connect the scaly pieces on his back, just like that. And then we can go back over anything that we wanna go over, darken up anything that we wanna darken up. Like this. All right. All right. So there's the scales on his back. And then anywhere that you want to add some highlighting to make things darker, you can do that. I think I'm going to darken up a few spots back here on the back of his neck. All right. Kind of like this. Darken up the ears. You can go back through and do that if you want. But just for now, just to finish up, we're gonna go ahead and um, finish out wherever I want some of these little highlights to be. Some over the nose here. Some underneath the chin, like that. Right here. And then coming off of the ridge of the nose. And now we need to do our eyeball. I really, really, really wanna to get to the eyeball. So for the eyeball, we are going to be adding in almost like um, a lizard-like eye. So the lizard-like eye is going to be darker on top. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. So the lizard-like eye is going to be much darker on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this darker. And it's going to have come down to a point like this. And then it's gonna have some squiggles on either side. It's gonna have some lines coming out from the edges like so. And then you can make this however detailed you want. But for our purposes today, I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. And then like I said before, you can go through and darken up whatever you wanna darken up. 
So there we have it, our finished dragon head with his nice ridged back and horns and scales on his belly. I hope you enjoyed drawing this with me today and I hope you'll check out some of my other drawing tutorials. Have an awesome day. Take care. God bless.